Ah, I gotta get there quick. I don't have too much time. Just past peak low tide, and I gotta get out to this rock before the water covers it. Now this is actually way easier to walk with a pack in the front and a pack on the back. I got a good ways to go before I get to this rock. And the plan is to camp out over here. We're getting out at low tide and it's only accessible at low tide. We'll be stuck on the rock overnight. I just hope there's room to sleep. That's the rock out there. And it looks like it's still accessible. So I gotta get down there ASAP. Yo, even though I'm racing against the clock, I gotta stay calm. I still need to get my other bag from way over there. But I gotta stay calm just because the rocks are so slippery. Really slippery. And can't afford a mistake. Okay, I made it across with half the stuff. Now I gotta go back and get the other stuff. Looks like we got time. Oh goodness, I made it back. Ah. And the reality is I'm going to be staying here overnight no matter what. So finding a spot is a necessity and I can do that later. First thing I got to do or I want to do while it's still low tide, grab something from this low tide zone that's accessible now. I'm going to get some seaweed and a couple mussels. So let's do that before the water comes up too high. I'll probably be camping up on that hill tonight. All right, on this side of the hill, there's a good patch of this iridescent seaweed. And from what I remember, it tastes really good. And it's straight up edible, just like this. So I'll have me a nice salad a little bit later. Collect a bunch of this. I'm gonna let it dry out in the sun, and then I'm gonna boil it when it's time to eat, when I catch some fish too. Besides that iridescent seaweed that I just got, there's tons of mussels here, so I'm going to grab about 10 of them, and that can be added to my seafood soup later that I'm going to make. It's not going to be anything fancy, so don't get your hopes up, but uh, yeah, this will be nice to have just on reserve. As you already know, anytime you want to harvest mussels, always check with that biotoxin hotline. It's out of season occasionally. So all of that behind me is going to be covered at high tide later. So I got to get up as high as I can, find the most dry spot possible. Man, even just right here doesn't look too bad. It's all dry. It's completely protected from wind coming from the ocean. And this right now is plan A. Let's go find a plan B that might turn into a plan A. Up higher. Well, just looking at some footage from the drone, it looks like where my stuff is right now is actually the best place to camp. It doesn't look like there's anywhere to lay down up here, but it's worth climbing up just to, just to take a look. Nice and dry. I do like that. This isn't, this isn't horrible here. I mean, I could totally just lay down. And we are blocked from the sun. We are blocked from the wind. All right, well, if down low doesn't work, we got plan B right here. Now let's take a look over here. Oh, uh, this is nice, but I don't think I'll be able to, to camp here comfortably. Something interesting that I do see, look at this. Some poop. Full of shells. All right, well, Let's let the fun part begin. We found our campsite. Now let's get some fish. She 
geez, this is literally as good as it gets. Beautiful out here. These jigs give me so much confidence and I like them so much better than swim baits now because I don't have to worry about tails getting bitten off. They come in one piece, not like a jig head and a swim bait. I'm starting out with a 30 gram sardine color. This is available at my website. That's the only place you can get them right now, fishermanslife.net. Each jig comes with two hooks. There's four different sizes, four different colors. And I'm so confident that we're gonna catch fish within the first 10 minutes that you know I'm just relaxing and uh, it's gonna be such a great day. I'll put a fish in a tide pool after I catch one, but just check this water out, man. It is beautiful, gorgeous. So because I have several of these jigs at my disposal, I'm gonna start off fishing the danger zone, which is right on the bottom. And I don't even care if the jig stays on the bottom for five seconds, because if it is and it jiggles a little bit, that's when it's gonna get the attention of some other fish. Man, it still hasn't hit bottom. It's deep out here with this 30 gram jig. What's this, man? Fish? Oh, man, what was that? Probably a starfish or something. Shoot. I'm just gonna try to catch fish here in this shallow, calm water. And if I lose, oh, 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 fish? Yeah, 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 fish on, fish on. If the, yep, oh, we got a school of blacks and blues over there. Found them, found them. That'll be a good meal. We'll put this on the side just in case. Woo! First cast over here. That's a nice one. We can, that's definitely a meal. We'll just keep him right there in that pool. And now, if history repeats itself, there might just be another black rockfish right here in this cove. First cast right there. All right, here's little fishy. I'm gonna put him out of his misery. Sorry. One, two, three. All right. Sorry, bud. When he convulses like that, you know he's dead. And we can cut his gills, get a little blood out. It's probably not going to make too much difference, but I'd rather get some out than nothing. Blue rockfish, no size limit, open all year if you're fishing from shore in California. Man, the wind really picked up from the north side, coming straight over here. Even where I set up my camp earlier, it's really windy. But I did find this rock, which is about seven feet long. It's sloped down, which is fine, no problem. And for the most part, it's flat. Like, I'm pretty sure if I sleep here tonight, look, I even got something, a footrest. If I sleep here tonight, I'll be more than comfortable and I guarantee I'll get at least six, seven hours of sleep. Yeah, this might not be bad. I think if the wind direction stays the same, I'm gonna camp out right here. This is nice. Well, I'm gonna get all the guts out because I'm gonna use the bones as a, a stock. We're gonna make a drink out of it. So I'm gonna gut it first. Actually, I'll do that in, a, in an easy way that you might not know how. So I'm gonna cut right in front of its gills. I'm gonna free these front gills and I'm literally going to grab right down his throat and just bend it back. All the guts should come right out. That's the collars. We could eat that, but that's all right. We'll just put it to the side. And then right there, that's all the guts. We've got a swim bladder. Clean up all this blood here. You see his heart. Still, still beating. Little baby heart. It's like sushi. Following the body along the spine all the way down to the middle cut through the pin bones go all the way across then poke your knife through the butt poke it all the way and then slice down then you're almost done then you do the same thing on the other side and then we'll have some fun just made a little rhyme. All right, look at that clean fish too. Gonna get a good amount of water in there. 
not too much, but I'll be drinking that later. So here we go. Nice. There we go into the water she goes. And the cool thing about boiling your fish, it comes out perfect every time. And at the same time, here we go, we'll toss in some of these guys. Some kelp, we'll let that cook. Why not? We'll throw in two mussels. Just let those steam up as well. My gosh, this smells so good. Avocado, fish, mussel, and seaweed. And a little broth too, let's see how this tastes. Mmm, nice, not even, not even that salty. Nice out here, alone, secluded, it's like paradise. Now obviously, when you come out here, there are some rocks that get completely covered when the tide comes up. Today, the high tide is a four, four feet. Sometimes it gets up to a seven, so almost double. And with a big swell, it could be even triple. So guy, watch out, always, you know, if, you, if for whatever reason you wanna come out here and do this, always watch that. That's the main thing that I looked at. Wind, tide, and swell. Bro, this is actually probably a better meal than I've than I eat at home. Seaweed, fish, mussel, and avocado. No carbs, no no processed foods. Heck yeah, man. That was not bad. Seaweed made it a little slimy, but that was damn good. So on my way out here this morning, I saw some fishing line, and it looks to be about 20 pound test. And I did not bring any swivels, so, all right, here we go. This is the line. This is, yeah, feels like about 20 pound test. And I'm just gonna take this whole thing and I'm gonna make a leader with it. Now I'm just gonna tie the FG knot. And this can be tied from braid to thin line to thick line, it doesn't matter. All I'm gonna do is hold it in my teeth and do 20 wraps. I did a video on how to tie the FG knot in the past, so if you do want to learn that knot in detail, you can check that out. But I'm just gonna do 20 twists. Man, instead of a rock, which I did find, I'm gonna just use a muscle. So I'm gonna get two of them. Uh, one of them is going to be my bait. Another one is going to be my weight. One, two, three. Oh, perfect. So gonna tie this on here, just like this. Super simple. There's our weight. Right here, I call that the lip, just like in my last video. But I'm just gonna thread this muscle onto the hook, just like that. Cast my muscle weight, and I'll cast my muscle bait. It's just a muscle kind of day. Yo, I'll be honest, it's not all glamorous out here. I've spent the last two hours sitting in this crack trying to protect myself from the wind coming from the south. And I've been watching the white caps. It looks like they're dying down. So I think I'll have an opportunity to fish here in just about another hour. Well, rather than just wait and get cold, I'm just gonna get my sleeping situation all set up right here. We don't have much room. We only got about one foot, so we gotta hug this corner tight. Blow it up a little bit more. And of course the pillow. Nice, nice. Ooh, I like it here. Yeah, I'll just settle in. Wait for this wind to die down.
there's a couple houses on the hill over there. I'm hoping nobody's home because anybody watching from their windows, if they see me, they'll be wondering what the hell am I doing? So, yep, I got my pan out and my secret. I brought this for breakfast, but I'm just going to have it right now. Some blueberry walnut oat cereal. It's so good because it's just freeze dried milk and pretty much all natural ingredients, not like what you would get on a normal MRE. So I'm just gonna boil some water in my pan, heat it up, and yeah, just eat, eat, eat good, man. This is gonna be a really good meal, and I have this avocado too. I can throw that in there. Avocado is a fruit after all. It's been the longest time since I've been this sore. My whole body is sore, my shoulders, my legs. And actually I slept pretty good. It was really nice, all the stars at night. And look at this cliff behind me. At night, man, that was just spectacular, spectacular looking, just so majestic. Oh man, you know, I wanted to do something else really special on this trip, but I just didn't have time because I had to get over the rock. So I'm going to save that. I think we got one more overnight island rock camping trip in us. We're going to do it next time and it's going to be a big surprise. We're going to bring out everything, the whole kitchen sink next time. Oh, this is nice. Thanks for joining me on the trip. I'd say it's a success. Peace, y'all. Have a great day.